Anyhow, good luck in today's training exercise, Ted. <laughs> you could at least tell me what you and Barney have got planned. I know. I'm a hopeless father. <laughs> but seriously, Dad, I want to do really well today. Tina's such a good teacher. I, I don't want to let her down. I'm sure you won't. Here are your lunches. Pop them in your rucksacks. Oh, and have you all got bottles of water? Yes, I have. Yes, thanks. How are my helpers this morning? Great, thanks, Bobby. I've never been on a training exercise before. Are we going to be really hurt or just pretending? <laughs> just pretending, Jumpy. Is it a sort of test for you, Ted? Yes, it's a chance for Tina, Bobby and Barney to find out how well I'm doing. Now, do you all know where to meet me? Yes, Bobby. See you later, then. Good luck, Ted. Uh, thanks. I wish we could help Ted do well. I've just made a whole lot of sticky buns. Oh, Ted's favourites. So why don't you take him some on your way to meet Bobby? Hi there. Hi, Ted. We've got something for you. Sticky buns. Oh, yes, I love sticky buns. Oh, mm, mm, thank you. Mm. They're a sort of good luck present for today. Mm, fantastic. I'll keep the rest till later. Dad loves them too. I know. I'll put them in here for now. Oh, thanks so much. See you later, Ted. Good luck. See you. Calling all services. Are you standing by? Police standing by, Bobby. Fire crew standing by, Bobby. Medical team standing by, Bobby. Over here! <sighs> that was a long ride. Good thing we've got drinks for you then. Great! Thanks, Bobby. OK, this is the plan. We're pretending that you got lost in the forest and that each of you has a different injury. Oh, what's mine? It's written on your card. Oh, twisted ankle. Mine's a bruised leg. What's yours, Martin? Only a scratched arm. So, what we'll do is this. You all hide in those bushes. Then I'll call out the police. It's their job to find you. Then they'll read your cards and call out the medical team. And Ted has to decide what to do with our injuries? That's right. But what about the firefighters? Where do they fit in? Ha <laughs> ha That's a surprise for later. Right. Off you go. Ready? Ready. Yes. Ready, Bobby. Bobby to Tiffany. We have an emergency. Three children are missing in Friend Forest. Message received, Bobby. We're on our way. I can't help it. My bruised leg's hurting. <laughs> Timber! <laughs> Shh! Here, Timber! Come on. Come on, let's get going. There's nothing to worry about, Ted. You'll do fine. What is it, Timber? What have you found? <laughs> there you are! Oh, you found us! Hi, Tiffany! Hi, Max! Well done, Timber! Good boy! <laughs> Tiffany to medical team. We've found the missing children. Medical team to attend, please. This way. OK. Mia has a twisted ankle. Martin has a scratched arm. And Jumpy has a bruised leg. Right. In that case, I'll start by... What? Oh, no. I've mixed the bags up. The one with the equipment in it must still be at the hospital. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I should have checked my equipment before I came. 
Well, fortunately, this is an exercise, so no harm's done. Well, suppose it was a real situation, Ted. What would you do next? Um, OK. Um, well, the children's injuries are quite minor. They don't have to be treated here, so I'd take them back to the hospital as quickly as possible. Good answer. Yes. But as I don't want to stop the exercise, let's put it on hold while you two go back to get the right bag. We gave Ted the buns. It's our fault. Not really. Ted shouldn't put buns in medical bags. But we all make mistakes, and I'm sure he's learned his lesson. But he wanted to do well, and now he's messed up. Maybe it would cheer him up if someone else made a mistake too. Now there's an idea. Leave it with me. What's in that one? Jelly babies? Oh, honestly, I can't believe I've been so silly. Here they are. See you later. Before you ask, yes, this is the right bag. <laughs> Good, Ted. Then let's get started. Bobby to all services. The exercise is starting again. Now. Bobby to fire crew. Emergency. A fire has broken out in Friend Forest. Please attend. Tom to Bobby. We're on our way. Tom? There's something I want you and Elfie to do. OK, that's done. Now, Jumpy, it's your turn. <gasps> What's that? There's a fire in the forest. You must get the casualties to safety as quickly as possible. <laughs> It's Petey and Abby. We'll have to go that way. It's Frankie. OK, Elfie. Go for it. Oops! I seem to have made a mistake. <laughs> nice one, Elfie. You see, Ted? Anyone can make a mistake. Yes, but that wasn't really a mistake, was it? Elfie did that on purpose. But it made you laugh. We just wanted to cheer you up, Ted. You don't have to be cross with yourself anymore. <laughs> OK, thanks. That's it then, everyone. The exercise is over. How about some sticky buns to celebrate? Here they are. <laughs> are you sure? Uh, yes. I've learnt two lessons today. One is to check my equipment before I go out on a call. What's the other, Ted? The other is that sticky buns are really good for cheering up people with minor injuries. <laughs> and there are still plenty to go round. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hi, Kimmy. I can't stop. I'm on special patrol this week up at the school. I have to make sure the children cross the road safely. Don't work too hard, Max. <laughs> Why not? That's what I like best. See you. Morning, Bobby. Barney. Morning. The usual, please. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so this Best Police Trainee Award is a new thing. Each city can put someone up for it. Will you put up Max? I'm certainly thinking about it. Hi, Max. You know the Police Trainee Award? No, nope, never heard of it. 
Well, we heard Bobby talking about it in the cafe just now. It's a new thing. Bobby said he was thinking of putting you up for it. Really? That's cool. I'll have to work really hard to make sure he does. There. That's you all oiled up, Scoot. From now on, you've got to go super fast to impress Bobby. Max! Kim is in trouble. Can you get over to her in East Street? Oh, right away. Hi. <laughs> wow, someone's in a hurry. It's really weird. I'm just walking under here when suddenly, boy, something hits me on the head. What sort of thing? Small, hard, and it hurt, that's for sure. You're right, it is weird. Anyhow, I'll go back with you to the post office. Make sure you're all right. Thanks, but there's no need. No, really. Come on. Well done, Max. Time to go off duty now. You know, the strangest things happen in the City of Friends. Why? What's up, Bobby? I've just been talking to the mayor and it seems several people have come out of the town hall today and been hit on the head. Really? What by? No one knows. Something small and hard, it seems. I'll go and take a look around. But it's your time off. That's OK. There might be a connection with Kimmy. She's been hit by something today too. Well, thanks, Max. Tell you what, take Timber with you. Timber! <laughs> Come on, Timber! No clues and no one here. Oh, I really need to solve this case, Timber. I'm sure that would persuade Bobby to put me up for the Best Police Trainee Award. Max to Bobby! Max to Bobby! Come in, Max. We've done a full search. Haven't found anything, though. OK, Max. See you back here. Out. Timber? I can't sleep. Let's go and have another look around the town hall. Still can't see anyone here. Let's hide for a bit and see what happens. Huh. This'll do. Morning. Come on. Time to go home. G to Max. G to Max. Have you finished at the school yet? Max? Come in, Max. Oh, where can he be? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I've overslept, Timber. Oh, sorry I'm late, G. There you are. I've got a job for you. What about the school? Too late. You've missed it. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh, all right, where to? East Street again. Same as yesterday. On my way. See you. Hi, Kimmy. Has it happened again? Yes. Why me, I'm wondering. Did you see what hit you? No, it rolled away. I thought I saw something move up there. Nothing there now. No. No, I'd better get on with my deliveries. OK, take care and let me know if it happens again. Hey, Max, we missed you this morning. Has Bobby said anything about the Best Police Trainee Award yet? Not yet. And at the rate I'm going, I'm afraid he won't. What do you mean? Why not? I managed to oversleep this morning. Can you believe it? Me! That's why I wasn't here. But you're never late for anything. Well, I was today. If Bobby finds out, there's no way he'll put me up for the award. I know. We'll help you. We'll come to school early and on the way, we'll call in to make sure you're awake. Thanks. That would really help. to go, 
it to school! Hello there. Everything all right? Oh no, this is awful! Sorry I'm late, Bobby! Max, wait! What's up, G? Is he really late? <laughs> no, he's five minutes early. for trying to get me up. It's not your fault I didn't come out in time. I've let Bobby down and I haven't solved the case. What case? Someone's dropping things on people's heads. But I can't find out who it is. Hi, Jim. Shh! It's a nutshell. Look, Kimmy, small and hard. These are what have been hitting you on the head. Nutshells? The squirrel drops them. Well, I never. Jumpy's the one who spotted it. Well done, you. What about at the town hall, Max? Could that be a squirrel too? If it is, I've been wasting my time looking around there at night. Because squirrels don't come out at night? Exactly. They sleep at night. Which is what you should be doing, Max. No wonder you've been getting up late. Yes, I know. I've been trying too hard to please Bobby because of that award. <laughs> the mayor will be pleased it's only a squirrel. Well done, Max. You've done a great job. But I was late this morning. No, you weren't. You were five minutes early. Really? Now listen, I'm putting you up for a new award. It's for the best police trainee. And it doesn't matter if you don't win, OK? Why not? Because as far as I'm concerned, you're the best police trainee I could possibly have. Oh, thanks, Bobby. That's definitely what matters most to me. It was a dark and stormy night. The robbers were lurking around the corner, waiting for the bank manager and all the people who worked in the bank to go home. As soon as they did, the robbers pounced. They went down to the cellar, where the giant bank vault was full of money and gold. They used a special metal cutter to get into the vault and filled their bags with their loot. It's not quite finished. Mine's not finished yet either, but I'll read what I've got so far. Bonnie the lifeboat was bringing a big crate of fireworks across the lake. But when she arrived at the quay, someone dropped a lighted match onto the fireworks and they were all set off. The rockets flew across the town and set fire to lots of buildings and then... How about leaving your homework for a while? I've got a little job for you. Dad and I are organising a party to tell everyone about our new line of cakes. Perhaps you could put these invitations into the envelopes and take them to Kimmy to deliver them. Yes, please. Sorry, Max, but Scoot Siren made me jump. Is it working properly? Not really. Doesn't sound too good, does it? No, it doesn't. Well, I suppose I'll just have to go back and do a bit more work on it. Still, at least I'll have some peace and quiet to do it in. Bobby and Tiffany are away at an important meeting. Oh, left you in charge, have they? Yes. Yes, I suppose they have. All I need now is a few crimes to solve. And then, ho oh, oh, I can feel a promotion coming on. <laughs> Max! 
party, eh? Lovely. I love a bit of a party. And it's for a new line of cakes, is it? Lovely. I love a slice of cake. Lemon sponge, chocolate and cheesecake. Love a spot of cheesecake, I do. Oh, you are a chatterbox, Martin. You'll have me here all day and I've got these invitations to deliver. Mustn't hang about, must I? Cheerio. See you later. Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> she does go on, doesn't she? Suppose we better get on with our homework. Hang on. Where's it gone? Mum, have you tidied away our homework? No. <sighs> I suppose we'll just have to start again. Well, at least we know what we're doing. Elfie, Tom, I've just had an anonymous letter. It says that someone's looking to start a fire, well, lots of fires, in the City of Friends, using fireworks. What? Think you'd better take this to Bobby. See what he makes of it. Bobby's away. So's Tiffany. Max is in charge at the police station today. That's all we need with an emergency like this. Looks like a tip-off about a bank robbery. Oh. Come on, Scoot. We've got some robbers to catch. Max? We've got a bit of a problem. Someone sent us this letter. You got one too? Hmm. Maybe they're going to start the fires to divert attention from the bank robbery. Bank robbery? What bank robbery? Oh, this is when Max uh, stops the crimes. I might even get a medal. Come on, Scoot. We've got a job to do. Fireworks? Yes. It seems someone wants to start a fire with some fireworks and they aim to put them aboard you. Oh, help. Don't worry. I'm sure we can foil them. And if you see anything suspicious, get in touch. Oh. <laughs> you are sillies. Here's the homework you... Oh. No, it isn't. It's two invitations. That means that someone didn't get invited. I think it might mean something else, too. We must have put our stories in the envelopes. And someone's got them instead of an invitation. Well, you better find out who's got the stories and explain what's happened. Well, I can't say I'm counting the days until the next one of those meetings. <laughs> it was just a tad boring. I... Oh! What's the matter with Tom and Barney? we better stop and ask them. What's going on? We've received these anonymous letters. What on earth? Right, I'll get over to the bank. Tiffany, you get over to the harbour and make sure no one puts any suspicious packages aboard Bonnie. Now, as soon as the robbers get here, we'll be ready to pounce and that medal's as good as mine. So... It was all a mistake. We must have put our homework in the envelopes instead of the invitations. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I suppose we'd better let Max and Bobby know. Oh, yes. And Tiffany. And you two had better be a bit more careful next time. Yes, Barney. Sorry, Barney. <laughs> Hang on. Think this is it, Scoot? Get ready for action! <gasps> ha! Get Don't off! You. Get off of me, you... You... you get hooligan! You... Ah! You... You... Well, get oh. away with this! <laughs> Bobby? Sorry, Bobby. Thought you were a robber. Me? A robber? As if. <clears throat> so, Max, no medals then? No, no medals. Mind you, there's someone around here who could do with a medal. And who's that? Your mum. For these cakes, they're scrummy. <laughs> Hi, Frankie. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, Max. Are you coming to my party? You bet. It's not every day we have a celebration like that. How long is it you've been in the fire service? Fifteen years. Fifteen? Wow! That must be almost as long as Barney. <laughs> almost, but not quite. Oh, hi, Barney. I've popped in to see Elfie. Is she round the back? Yes, in her bath as usual. See you later, then. I can't wait for the party this evening. Nor me. It's a big day for all of us, Frankie. Tiffany's got all the decorations and things for tonight. You just have to get Frankie away from the fire station so we can put them up and surprise him. But he knows there's a party. Yes, but he doesn't know he's going to have balloons and streamers and stuff. OK, OK, I'll talk to Tom. Wow, I hope I'm as good as Frankie in 15 years' time. He knows everything about fighting fires. I'm sure you will be. Oh, a call out! All aboard! Ready to go, Frankie. Frankie's just gone out on a call. Shall we do the decorations now? It's a bit early. Anyway, he might come back in the middle. Let's wait till later. OK. Go, Frankie, go! Ooh. What's happening? Oh, no! Something wrong, Frankie? I, I can't go on, Tom. I've broken down. Today of all days. Now everyone's going to say I'm too old for the job. Nonsense. Don't worry. We'll sort it out. Morning to Tom. Are you nearly there? There's a worry that the fire's going to spread. Tom to Barney. We've got a problem. Frankie has broken down. I'm so sorry. We have to get water to that fire. Maybe we could get Elfie there somehow. It's a good idea, but how? We don't have a suitable vehicle. Tom! Hold on, Barney. What is it, Frankie? Maybe Haley could airlift Elfie. Brilliant idea. Barney, I think we have a solution. Bobby to Max. Bobby to Max. Max to Bobby. Receiving you. Max, we have an emergency for Haley. We need you back here. Oh, I'm on my way. Oh, this has never happened before. But it's not your fault, Frankie. Oh, maybe not. But the older you get, the more likely you are to break down. People will say I'm past it. to go, Haley. Ready to go. Got the key? The key. Uh, uh, the key. Oh, no. I've lost the key. Is it in your house?
house. Uh, uh, oh, my house! Take in as much water as you can, Elfie. There's plenty in there. As soon as I've done this, Frankie, I'm going to see if I can find out what's wrong with you. It's old age, Tom. You need a new fire engine, that's what. Don't be so silly. Ah, 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 got it! Oh, is it the right one? Oh, oh, it had better be. It is! Elfie, here we come! I just can't work it out, Frankie. Everything seems fine. Haley's here. Tom, can you ask Elfie to come down the road? We're going to lower a harness for her. Will do, Max. Back in a minute, Frankie. This way, Elfie. They're going to lower a harness. Stand by. Oh, are you sure it's meant for elephants? It's meant for firefighters, Elfie, and you're a firefighter. Good luck, Elfie. Thanks, Frankie. I hope I won't need it. You'll be fine. All ready, Max? Starting to lift. <laughs> Who said elephants can't fly? Tom, I've been thinking. Maybe the contacts on my engine have worn out. OK, I'll take a look. Good thinking, Frankie. You're right. They're worn right down. Well, they're easy to fix. Maybe Tiffany could run some spares out here. OK, I'll ask her. No problem, Tom. I'll pick them up from Barney and be with you shortly. This is it. I've got one chance. It's the first time in 15 years I've not managed to get to a call out. And it has to be today. Exactly. Well, I still think you're the best, Frankie. Anyone can have a bit of bad luck. There we are. All done. Let's go, then. Elfie will need help. She can't carry enough water to put out a big fire. It's under control, but I've run out of water. Let's hope Frankie gets here soon. This way. You did really well, Elfie. You got it under control. Well done, Max. Haley, that was great flying. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think I'm needed here now. I'll get back to the fire station with the decorations. OK. See you there. I'm sorry I've caused so much trouble. Frankie, you don't understand. You haven't caused any trouble at all. But I, I broke down. That can happen to anyone. But think about it. You were the one that sorted it all out. It's true, Frankie. And you could do that because you've been in the fire service for so long. It's called experience, Frankie. And you've got it. Thank you, Tom. 
I really appreciate that. Here he is. This is amazing! And so are you, Frankie. Fifteen years in the fire service. Congratulations! Congratulations, Frankie! Detective on the wall! No! Oh. It's okay, Timber. I, I'm fine. I meant to do it. Ninja training. Come on, Scoot. We've got police work to do. <laughs> Just wait till Martin and Mia see this! Oh, hello, Jumpy. Look at my new metal detector. I'm going to be a treasure hunter. The best treasure hunter in the city of Friends. Uh, that's, um, uh, that's nice. And you two can help me. Help you what? Detect metal with my new metal detector. Well, that would be great any other time, Jumpy. But Dad's taking us fishing today. Fishing? Boring! No, we're going right out into Friend Lake. Dad's chartered Bonnie for the day. Would you like to come too? No, it's all right. Mia, Jumpy gets seasick, remember? I do not. It's just... Uh, I'm going treasure hunting. See ya! <laughs> Hi, Max. Oh, uh, can't stop. Lots of police work to do. Max, look out for the roadworks round the corner. <laughs> Max, are you all right? Oh, never better. Oh, um, jumpy to friend's hospital. Thanks for calling us, Jumpy. Good work. Now, Max, where does it hurt? Let's talk about fish. Whoa! What is it, Bonnie? It's my propeller. It's got caught in something. I, I, I can't move. Oh, it looks like an old net. It's all tangled up. We're going to drift. I'd better radio for help. <whistles> Bonnie to City of Friends Emergency Services. We're stuck in the middle of Friend Lake and we need help. There's got to be some treasure around here. I'll find it and then I'll be rich. I'll be the richest person in the City of Treasure in the bushes. Hello. What's that? There, in the bushes. Oh, it's probably just a squirrel or something. I've never heard a beeping squirrel before. Jumpy, what are you doing in there? Metal detecting! Ha oh, looks like I've detected Frankie. I was looking for treasure. All units report back to the station. We have an emergency. And they're drifting further and further away from shore. So how are we going to save them? Haley, Max could fly Haley over to them, drop them a rope, and tow them back to harbour. Good thinking, Tiffany. Max? Max? Where is he? Just a couple of scratches. 
Max, I think you're needed at the police station. Sounds like there's a bit of an emergency. Well, come on then, Scoot. Let's get scooting! <coughs> Must do something about that siren of yours, Scoot. So we need you to get Haley out there as quickly as possible, Max. Ha! I'm your man! Max to the rescue! Uh, anyone seen Haley's key? Oh, <coughs> don't <coughs> say you've <coughs> lost it again. No! I know I had it earlier. Ruff, 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 ruff. Timber, we've got an emergency on our hands. Oh. We heard the news about Bonnie. Anything we can do to help? Not unless you can find Haley's key. Oh, Max lost it again. Oh. <laughs> ruff, 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 Quiet, ruff. Timber. Now, where could I? Of course. The road works. It must have jumped out of my pocket there. But it's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Not if we've got a metal detector, it isn't. Oh, where are we going to find one of them? Of course, Jumpy. Jumpy's got a metal detector. He might still be at the park. Oh, still nothing. <gasps> Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Frankie, it's you again. Haven't I detected you once already? You have that. And now we want you and your detector to find something very important for us. Haley's key. We need Haley for an important rescue. And I think I might have lost her key when I had that little, um, uh, accident at the roadworks. Oh, does this mean I might be a hero? Yep. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? We'd better start thinking of a plan B, Tiffany. If Max doesn't find Haley's key, woof, then we... Woof, woof. Down, Timber! Timber! I think he's trying to tell us something. Woof, 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 woof. Haley's key. But how did it get here? That doesn't matter. We've got it now, and Max can take Haley out over the lake. Clever dog! <laughs> oh. oh, this is hopeless. We're never going to find the key. No, but Timber did. Dad, do you think we're ever going to be saved? Of course we are, Mia. I hope. Oh, this is all my fault. I should have been looking where I was going. No, Bonnie, you couldn't have seen that net. But if ever I find who left it there... We'll have to get back to shore first, Dad. Though how we're going to... Huh? Hang on. What's that sound? I can't hear any... Just a minute. It's, it's Haley. Hello. Grab hold of this rope. Oh, they've got them. Oh, thank goodness. And if I had been there to help, then they'd never have been rescued. They'd have been left there forever. But Jumpy, you didn't find the key. Timber did. Yes, but if I hadn't... Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> At least we caught something on our fishing trip. <laughs> okay, Elfie. Last time. Ready? Ready! Go! <laughs> Bullseye! Good shooting, Elfie. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Hey, I'm hungry. I could really do with an apple right now. <laughs> you like apples a lot, don't you? 
<laughs> like them. I love them. Here you are then. An apple for Elfie, a bun for Ted and a banana for Max. Thanks, Mum. See you later. Go carefully. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Elfie. Hi, everyone. We've brought you an apple. Oh, wow. How did you guess? That's just what I want. Oh, sorry. I have to go. We'll bring it back later. I can't see Ted anywhere. I hope he's here. Well, Abby is, so I expect Ted is too. Hi, Abby. Is Ted around? Sure. He's round the back with Tina. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> How's that? Really good. Well done, Ted. You've earned a break. Hi, Ted. Hi, Tina. Oh, hi. Hello, everyone. We've brought you a bun. Hey, great, thanks. Just in time for my break. He can share it with me. Aww. <laughs> Only joking. We took Elfie an apple, but she was called out just as we got there. She can have it later. She loves apples. Mm. Almost as much as I love buns. Just there, Elfie, where the flames are. Great work, Elfie. Right on target. <laughs> All that practice paid off, didn't it? I think I deserve an apple now. You certainly do. Mm. 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 Oh, thanks for this, guys. You'll whiz about even faster now, won't you, Max? <laughs> sure will. We should be getting back to the fire station. Yes, Elfie might be back by now. We've got an apple for her. <laughs> Elfie will do anything for an apple. I'm looking forward to my apple more than I can say. The way to have a happy life is to eat an apple a day. Oh, what's that? Oh, my goodness, an orchard full of apples. I've never seen so many. Oh, yum, yum. Here they are. Here's your apple, Elfie. Oh, thanks, Mia. You'll never guess what I've seen. Mm. Did you see it, Tom? See what? That orchard. Trees all full of ripe, juicy apples. Oh, I so want to go back and pick some. Well, I think that can be arranged. Really? Yes, you've worked really hard today. Frankie and I will take you back there. You can remember where it was, can't you? Oh, yes, definitely. We'll go to the park for a bit. Then you'll come back and see my lovely apples. Yes, of course we will. Come on, then. Off we go. No, no, it wasn't here. Oh, dear, where was it? Are we in the right place? I don't know, Tom. I thought we were, but now I'm not sure. Try going up in the bucket. You'll be able to see further. OK. Any luck? No. I can't see the apple orchard anywhere. I'm sorry, Elfie. But I think we'll have to give it up now. I know. Thanks for trying, though, Tom. I'm Frankie. Look, here's Elfie. Did you find the orchard? No. I thought I knew where it was, but I was wrong. Oh, Elfie. Elfie couldn't find the orchard. Oh, what are you going to do? Dunno. Nothing much I can do. I think I'd better have a bath. Thanks for minding. Poor Elfie. Oh, I've never seen her look so sad. There must be some way we can help her. I know, there is! What? We'll find the orchard for her. We'll organise a search party. Ooh, I'm looking forward to my apple. More than I can say. The way to have a happy life is to eat an apple a day. But I can't find the orchard, so my apples have gone away. Hi, Elfie. Everyone's waiting. Waiting? What for? Come and see. Oh, my goodness. What's happening? 
We're going to find that apple orchard for you, Elfie. Working together, you see. We're all so good at working together. I bet we can find your orchard just like that. Thank you. Let's hope so anyway. Now, here's the plan. We'll each search a different part of the countryside near where that haystack caught fire. Jumpy's found it. I'm going to find the owner now and ask if we can have some apples. He says yes. It's okay to take as many as we like. Hi, Elfie. Where are you off to? I'm going back to the orchard. What? You can't have eaten all your apples already. I have. I'm off to get some more. Oh, no! Max, stop! Could you get a message to Frankie for me? Ask him to pick me up here. No problem. Will do. What is it, Martin? What are you looking at? It's Elfie. She's going to be late for the call-out. Oh, she'll be really upset if she misses a call-out, won't she? Yes. Being a firefighter is so important to her. If only she didn't care about the apples so much. I've got a suggestion. We've got to find a way of getting so many apples for Elfie that she doesn't need to go back to the orchard for ages and ages. You mean a grand apple picking? A grand apple picking with a picnic. And I'll make the picnic. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mum. Thanks. Yum, yum. I'm looking forward to my apple. More than I can say. All the way to have a happy life is to eat an apple. <laughs> I think those will last you quite a time, Elfie. Yes. Oh, thank you, everyone. This is my best day ever. Now I can stop worrying about apples and get on with being a firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> 